Okay, this is the Inficon Ecstasy 3M Deposition Controller. Comes with the controller, set of cables, 30 feet, the crystal interface units, and two 6-inch BNC, six BNC connectors. It does not come with the uh, feed-through and the crystals. So, I've powered it up. It'll go through an initialization screen and uh, depending on where you last left, it'll come up to that screen. Um, I'm going to show you the menus uh, and how to uh, separate the channels and show you that there is response from each one of the channels. So now, since we're at this screen, it's showing ready. And you can see here we have the process is source 10. And I'm just indicating that because I'm going to change that. And the layer is LG 101. And uh, you can see here, our sensor is sensor 2. So I have this labeled here. This is sensor 2, and I want to show that there's response. So you can see there's no failures here. And I'm going to disconnect that crystal interface unit. And as you can see, we have a crystal failure. Uh, so we know that that's responding all the way. It's seeing the crystal or not seeing the crystal, as the case may be, if there's a failure. I'm going to reconnect that crystal. give it a couple seconds and as you can see it's recognized that the crystal is functioning again at this point I'm going to switch to the other crystal other sensor which is sensor uh, 2 so I'm going to go to the menu and these are your different parameters here uh, for programming it and I'm going down to general parameters and I'm going to hit menu and it's asking me which process I want to run. So I'm going to change that from process 10 to process 11, which I've pre-programmed to so to activate the other crystal, which is the other sensor. Menu to back out of there. I go back up to the operate mode. Hit menu again. And you can see now that our process here has changed to process 11 and film 11 and our sensor has now changed to one. So I will go to the other crystal interface unit and disconnect it. And as you can see, we got a response and a crystal failure on this one now. I will reconnect it. And that will again recognize that the crystal is good and go back to normal operation. Uh, and just to show you that it is differentiating between the two, I'll disconnect crystal two. And since we're not connected to crystal two, it's not going to fail. So it is reading each one separately. There's two sensors on the back. That's how it determines. Uh, this does also have multi-layering and crystal. Uh, you can switch crystals, uh, but it needs to have other equipment hooked up to it to be able to do that. Um, it does come with this uh, crystal switching interface unit but this has to be hooked up uh, in accordance with whatever kind of deposition you're doing and uh, and then to to the two different crystals and it is does have the ability to uh, differentiate that once a uh, crystal fails it'll automatically switch to uh, the other crystal but you need um, valving and stuff like that but there is a relay inside this unit that'll trigger this uh, when it's wired properly to switch the uh, shutter so that the other crystal opens up and that's now de determining in case of another failure. So this is, un we're unable to test this, but it comes with the unit. And uh, as you can see that, you know, each one of these uh, sensors though is operating properly and you can, you know, various functions here on the screen to be able to uh, enter the different types of programming. Um, again, menu brings you back to the main menu general parameters, film parameters, the process list, uh, and when you select one by using your arrow keys, you just hit menu, and it tells you which one you're going to do here. Uh, and there is a manual that will come with it, a, a complete operator's manual, to show you how to set this. And you can see it's showing the angstroms for a second that are being deposited. We're not, of course, in an environment to deposit anything, but you can see it, it's sensing.